Hello! All right, welcome everybody. Here we are. <sighs> this is the Injustice Watchtower. Watchtower streams. We have been we've been planning this for a long time. Let's get some introductions out of the way. Absolutely. I am Tyler Lansdowne, community specialist here at NetherRealm Studios. Beside me, as always, I have... Derek Kurtzik, designer here at NetherRealm Studios. And maybe you know him. Got a very special guest today, Mr. Ed Boone. Welcome. Thanks. Wait. It's great to always be here in these first episodes. We, 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 okay. We'll get there. I was going to say, don't... We're going to do these and then go across. Oh, okay. So we love having you here at the first one. It's sure. great having you here. We also got Jen behind the, uh, the new computer desk. Hey, everyone. How's there it we going? There we go. And it's great to have you here. We're going to go through a couple notes, and then we're going to get right into you. we got some Twitter questions for you today to kind of go through. Quite a bit of them, actually. So it's going yeah, to be yeah. Nice. Hopefully we get a lot of them. Get a lot. Yeah. You always, you know, everybody always complains that we don't go through enough questions. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to try to do a I bit of a lightning round thing here. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Very game show. I think we have a lot of questions that we can answer for you today. Yes. I want to thank some people. Uh, getting these streams together is not just like us putting a stream together. No. It involves the entire building getting a, a special build ready for us. It involves... <laughs> You doing, you doing takes over here? <laughs> <laughs> it involves a special build. It involved, like, you know, we had all the art done. Thank you to Bruno, Rigo, everybody in the studio who's really helped us make this build happen. That said, mm -hmm. this is an early build of the game. It is. So things that you see may change. Like if you're looking for frame data, if you're that kind of player, a lot of that will change. We're trying to give you the earliest look we can right now, which may involve some things changing. That's just how it goes. Yeah. So yeah. early builds can be unstable. Just letting you know that. Um, what else do we have? Um, I think that's it right now. Uh, also, big thanks to the NRS Super Squad Super and IT squad. for getting the whole room all set up for us with all the new oh, tech gadgets and yeah. on the wall. And, yeah. Look at all this stuff. we got some great stuff going on here. We, we've so, upgraded quite a bit. I'm pretty we impressed. We have. So, first of all, Ed. Yes. Let's, I, I said we go right in. Can we go right into some questions? <sighs> sure. We, went, we got them from Twitter. So we have some ones that are a little longer form that you can answer, and then we're going to go into a game show lightning round style of yes, no, maybes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound good? Okay. <laughs> Out of the new characters we've revealed, as of now, what character would you say is your favorite right now and why? Um, Atrocitus, probably. Yeah. Um, he's, he's, he's the most, probably the biggest departure in terms of, like, you know, new characters with... Um, you know, combination of this, you know, lantern ability and the big, you know, doomsday like, you right. know, uh, hulking thing. So I've always, I've always also liked the way he looks and his gear is awesome. I can't oh. wait for people to see all the gear. And we him. will be showing you some of his, how to work some gear today. And it's yeah. really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll get to that very shortly. Um, also, this is great. We got, a, got a phone call coming in. <laughs> Should I take it on stream? Um... I don't know. We roll the dice. Yeah, you know, yeah, I think he yeah, should yeah. probably text me if he's calling me right yeah, now because yeah, I yeah, can't really yeah. answer the <laughs> phone. Um, so, there, yeah, a bad atrocities also that you said is he is a big body character and he's different in a way that he's like not like your typical grappler <coughs> character, though. He uses more Red Lantern type exactly, stuff. Exactly, yeah. And I like the big, I've been playing a lot of atrocities yeah, and he does, yeah. he's not like a, your typical grappler. And Dexter is like the greatest ever. We forgot that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dexter, yes, yeah. Yes, a little yeah. cat that'll paw at you. Paw at you? Paw at you. Um, all right, one question one down. One question down. <laughs> so that's all, that's all the questions we have, Ed. Yeah. So we're going to, um, you know, P&D Mustard, good old Ketchum and Mustard. Yeah, yeah. Wanted to know if there'll be, because we only have some shaders in the game that can change some of the colors. He wanted to know if there'll be some some shaders for color loyalists, like he loves his yellow. Yeah, will there yeah. be some, will characters have different yeah. kind of colors they can put on? Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, obviously there's going to be shaders that are kind of like, you know, uh, um, you know, tend to do a certain color, but, you know, I don't, th I don't think we have a strategy of like, you know, there are a lot of yellow fans out there. Let's, <laughs> let's give them so, so, so you'll probably have it, but I don't, I don't think there's going to be like a color that is represented across the entire uh, roster of right. characters. Just, just for mustard getting all yeah, yellow. That's yeah, just, that's yeah, not fair. Exactly. Uh, Brett Beeling, remember Ooh. Brett Beeling did all the uh, combat classes for us back in the day for Mortal Kombat. Had a pretty interesting question that I thought was fun. If you, because you love Twitter, people know this, you're a big Twitter fan. If you could tweet yourself before you started Mortal Kombat, what would you tweet yourself? Uh, I would tweet myself, um, cancel the Special Forces project. Wow, all right. Hot, hot takes today. Yeah, yeah, hot yeah. takes. Yeah. Truth yeah. is just flowing. Yeah. I would tweet myself to start Twitter. Ooh. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. It. right. Mm -hmm. um, so we obviously have some different, you can change your outfits, change your characters. When you do that, do you have to, can you save them? Can you keep coming back to them? Can you pick the ones you like and go back? You will, and you will get a, uh, these guys and our next guests are going to give you a, you know, a demo of that, which will illustrate exactly how it works. It's going to be awesome. Right. 
Uh, that was from Mr. Dude. Mr. Dude. Hmm. Uh, Caboose XBL. Besides the gear system, what would you say is the most ambitious thing about Injustice 2? The story mode. The story mode is... Um, people are going to love it. It's just amazing. It's, it's, it's uh, a fantastic, you know, the ultimate Justice League... Um, cinematic experience, you know, interactive cinematic experience. Um, it's so cool to see these characters interacting with each other, participating in the fights. You know, we're doing a lot of cool new stuff with our story mode. It's huge. It's epic. Uh, I cannot wait for uh, people to see this thing. It's just awesome. And we'll, still, we'll be going into the story mode in future streams, and there's some pretty neat stuff that we have not announced yet. I think we will, actually. Yeah. You're doing takes again. <laughs> I love the takes. <laughs> Give me takes. Mighty X Farce. Hmm. What made the gear uh, system so appealing to the studio? Um, the uh, customization, I think, is one of the, the, the words. You know, every, you know, everybody loves to make their own version of something. And, you know, so you have these established characters, and uh, there's nothing like making, you know, your specific, your version of Batman, not only with how he looks, but how he right. plays. And so I think that that was, like, something that... Um, Really, and, and you know, excited everybody about just the entire, um, you know, the longevity of the game and just ma making it your version. Right. Cool. And, and then that uh, we'll show later too. Like you're really able to create what you want to look like, and also in certain ways, as we'll explain, kind of show make them play a way that you'd like them to too. So you're really creating yeah. how you yeah. want it to work. Yeah, people will get a good taste of that with the beta. Test, yes. So. Uh, Will there be any, this is from Adam Langhorn, will there be any characters in the roster that are sort of uh, on the fringe, some sort of unknown, maybe, maybe lesser known characters? Yes, yes, that's, what, that's one of the most exciting things about, you know, the sequel is, you know, with the first Injustice, I think we covered the, 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 the highest profile DC characters, but there's some really interesting and, um, you know, uh, really unique characters that are deeper in the roster that we're suddenly able to do. You know, I think Atrocitus was one of them. We really, uh, but there's a ton more of these a um, uh, little more obscure, but just as interesting, just as cool characters that are going to be revealed, you know, as we go all, the way, go all the way out to May. I'll say that one of the lesser known ones I've played with, and this, this character is, may have my favorite fight style. Like, so there's some really cool stuff happening yeah. that will be, I mean, all of these characters, of course, you'll see on stream eventually, and we'll go through them all like we always have. Um, tweets from me, not actually me, that's his Twitter I name. I was totally sure. confused. Yeah, it wasn't for, I'm, not, I'm not tweeting you to find out questions. Uh, will every returning character have a new special move? Will every returning character have a new special move? Yeah, you know, that's, that's going to be another thing that we're going to see uh, when you guys demo this, is um, the role that special moves play in... Um, in uh, creating your own character. You know, it's not just, um, you know, variables that are tweaked there. You can actually, you know, um, control which special moves you want to, uh, to to have in your arsenals. And that's, again, that's uh, these questions are a lot going to be answered in a lot more detail yep. than, than just what I can kind of fire off here. Now, this is a big one. Uh, this will be, we're going we're to move in the lightning round. Woo! You ready for the lightning round? These are quick ones, oh, oh, okay? Okay. You're going to go through those ones first, and then we'll, 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 we'll take yeah, them. Hopefully they're in the same order we yeah. can, because uh, we're trying, you know, the goal here is we, we had hundreds of questions. Um, there's no way we can handle them all, but so we, we kind of took the, the strategy of, we're going to come back with uh, shorter but higher volume to, to get more questions in, as opposed to, like, the ones we just did. Right. First right. one. Will more characters receive, receive premiere skins other than Supergirl, Green Lantern, and Superman? Yes. Will Space Ghost be DLC? No. Uh, will there be good netcode like MKXL? No, we're going back to the old stuff. Will Injustice No, 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 that's not true. <laughs> we're, 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 of course we're going to have the... Uh, um, we, we, we are actually even, you know... Constantly improving our, our new stuff. Everybody was really happy with the uh, MKL X, uh, net code, and we're going to definitely, you know. And that's, that's why we have a beta. Exactly. Keep, keep exactly. Iterating on that. Exactly. Will Injustice 2 have a block button? No. Will we see Poison Ivy gameplay today? Today, no. Is it May 16th yet? No. Is Baraka too sexy for Injustice 2? Yes. Are the beta codes going to be going out soon? You want to save that one? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's save that one for let's last. Save that one for last. We're gonna, yeah. I, I, can't, I don't know what order we're doing here. Uh, well, oh, we're over here we're, now. Now we're over here. Now okay. we're on your list. Oh, okay, 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 cool. Okay. cool. Um, since we have gear, can we see our friends' stats on their gear? Stat, can we see 
how can can we have Static's friend gear? Oh, yeah, yeah that I, I, didn't, I didn't. That one, yeah, I didn't see that. Derek, either. you take this one. Um, you will be able to see your friend's gear. Yes, when you're playing online and stuff like that. But who's Static gear? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Didn't understand that. Okay. Okay. Good. Is it possible for the DLC in Injustice: Gods Among Us be able to make it into Injustice Two? It is possible. Um, any predictions on how many characters in Justice Two will have exact number in the exact number? Say that again. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, and Justice Two is going to have the biggest roster that we've had, biggest uh, initial roster and biggest DLC roster of any NRS game. Will old Injustice DLC characters be in the main roster? Uh, not likely. Our, our, our main goal is to fill it with uh, as many new characters, but that does not necessarily mean you will never see them again in the future. Will there be any prequel comics to Injustice 2? Uh, I'm not sure what they mean by exact prequel comic, but there is an Injustice 2 comic um, which is going to um, you know, cover the, the, the time between the, the last game, and it's amazing. It comes out April 11th. Thank you. Um, how, how will you change the movesets of returning characters? You're going to see a demo of this in the stream, so we're going to skip that. How will the gear system work with tournament play? Uh, we have, we're going to have a tournament mode. We've, we've said this from the beginning. Um, you know, gear actually affects gameplay, and we don't want an imbalanced game, so we're definitely going to have a, a mode that is where everybody will play who plays tournaments. Right. Are there going to be any third-party characters, like uh, such as Scorpion, that was in the first Injustice game? Uh, we have nothing we're announcing. Um, just a, a, a statistic that I've, I've said many times before is um, when we've done that before, they've been the most downloaded characters. So um, I'd be surprised if we didn't do anything right, to that right. effect. Around how long will story mode be? I don't know how long. Um, it's our biggest story mode, which we, we, we can say. And uh, so, but I, it, it varies for every character. I want this one. Yeah. When will Granny Goodness be revealed? She's not. Oh, oh, good. Damn. Can we have a character reveal today? No, but we do have a cool surprise that you guys are going to be showing a little we later. We have two surprises, actually. We might have more than two. Is there any specific character you can't wait to release? Will there be more DLC content for I2 than any other we've had before? Uh, yes, I think we've we mentioned that before. We're going to have our longest... Um, longest uh, you know, span of DLC characters, mm -hmm. and uh, the the character that I that I can't wait to, I can't I can't mention. No. Okay, we're stuck there. <laughs> all right, all right. Go ahead, and take this one. How are the graphics in Injustice Two so amazing? Um, that is probably the uh, result of our amazing uh, tech team and art team. Uh, the 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 uh, it's an entire. Probably an entire uh, new you know episode of this of the stream. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be a great idea to have the guys on to show uh, some of the stuff that they did. But it is an amazing amount of work that our tech guys did, it, along with our artists. And um, y you know you, you, you find yourself doing a lot of double takes with this game. Um, just amazing lighting, amazing, amazing character design. Just. The game looks beautiful. Right. It does. It absolutely it does. Does. And, we, and we'll, of course, you know, there'll be some artists and stuff that will we'll come in. We'll also have, you know, maybe some, some concept art show up on the stream, things yeah. like that, to kind of see yeah. you know, how we got to where we are. Sure. We have absolutely. two more. Uh, Including that last one. Two more. Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, that one. Is Injustice 2 pay to win? Uh, absolutely not. You know, I, I, that, that's one of the, the most, um, a, a pretty frequent question that's being asked. We are absolutely not going to make a system where people can pay and you know, get gear and, and stuff like that. This, 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 our gear makes it, it, it affects gameplay. So we're not going to let the people with you know who, who throw money at Deep it. Do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely not. Uh, Whew, here we are. Final question: Are beta codes going out soon? They are. They're going out after the stream. After what? the stream. Yeah. 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 And, um, uh, it, you know, as, as far as they're, they're unrolling, you have more yeah. details on that. I do that have thing. more details. Uh, so as soon as the stream is over, we're going to begin the first wave of beta invites. So hopefully around 3 o'clock, we'll do the first wave. I can't give you an exact number on that, but just like the Mortal Kombat XL stream, mm -hmm. we're going to have waves and waves of, str of yeah. uh, codes go out to you. So... Be checking your inbox because directly after the stream, you might be playing Injustice Two. Yeah, and if you don't get one, you know the the way that we do it is we do them in waves. Don't don't mean that doesn't mean you're never going to get one, right. and um, that's just the nature of how these betas work. You can't have everybody, you know, you know, 
right away right. Uh, start playing. Um, so just be a little bit patient, but um, you know the beta will be you know growing and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So you said people could play the beta today? Uh, I mean, it should happen. We'll see what happens. What? Yeah. We'll what happens. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's the thing about the beta. We're looking, this, this beta is online 1v1, and you'll be able to use some gear and some of the moves you get with the gear. Yeah. What we're looking for is just to continue to improve our online process. Yeah. And of course, if there's any sort of bugs with characters, please go to the message boards and let people know so we can see that stuff early. Yeah. It's important. We, we love that you're playing the game, but really important to us is we want to make the best game we can from the beta. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, that's a big part of, of just how we operate in the studio is is the the more feedback you know that you give us the better the final game will be right and we're i mean i'm excited for everybody to play it like yeah. i can't wait to get yeah. online and start playing people yeah um, you got a beta code i i'm still waiting okay i All hope right. i get in second wave yeah, we'll see it. what happens yeah. uh so ed there is one more thing um that we want to show the fans yes oh, that is a... very important to us i'd yeah. like you to go ahead and our first surprise yes uh, the, <gasps> the main surprise really um, well, we are going to be showing you the first uh, gameplay of uh, Robin, uh, a.k.a. Damien. Sure. And um, uh, it's going to give you a, a good glimpse of... Uh, I don't think we've shown a new character in quite a long time right. as far as gameplay. So we're going to give you know exclusive look through the stream, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Yes! Can't forgive the deaths. I'm your only son, old man. Dick was my son too.
there we go. Yeah. That was Robin. And of course, he looks pretty awesome, yeah? yeah. yeah. Damien yeah. Wayne. I hope you guys all enjoyed that trailer. Sorry about the little bit of technical difficulty. First, you know, new, new game, new stream. You so know, we're, we're just testing things out. We are working through it, but shouldn't happen again. Thank awesome. you guys for being patient with us, and I hope that that uh, little taste of Robin was able to help you out a little bit there. He's pretty awesome. He is. I've been playing with him a lot, and he is really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Um Enjoying his gameplay a lot. Absolutely. Uh, so, right now, we, uh, Ed has ventured off. So we have Mr. Paulo Garcia. How's it going? Hello, Lord. designer here at NetherRealm Studios. And we're going to talk about kind of, well, now that we've announced the beta is going live, we're going to kind of talk about what you're going to be having in the beta and maybe go over a couple characters. Yeah, so the beta has got uh, four characters in that you can play as. And uh, you're going to be able to play them online against people um, and uh, essentially be using those characters with the uh, new uh, rollback style of uh, netcode. Awesome. Yep. So it's going to feel wonderful. So let's let, you know, let's kind of go in and kind of show what they'll be doing in their customizations, right? Yep. We'll start with Batman. We're going to today. We're going to show you Batman, kind of some of his changes and his new moves, and we're going to go through a more deeper dive with Atrocitus. Um, so as you're playing the beta, um, um, for the beta, when you're when you're after, at the end of every match, we're we're actually going to be rewarding gear for both the winner and loser, just for the beta to make sure that people get a taste of the gear and be and we'll be using a different gear and different abilities in their actual matches and be able to test that out. And this is kind of a look at the default Batman, right? Yeah. So this is what you'll see first. You'll see every like this is like base model. Yep. And then, like, we've added some, some gear in here, which, of course, all the numbers could change, the names could change, but this is sort of gear we've created for the character. And we're able to actually build out a Batman the way we want him to look and play. So, Paul's going to go, that's a, that's a nice-looking helmet. I like, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and we're going to dress Batman. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. And, and obviously, there are uh, there's different, different uh, levels of gear, too, which we'll probably get into a little more later mm -hmm. in, in future streams. But there'll be some more rare stuff that you can find and whatnot, too. Yeah, as you're leveling up, um, and uh, the, the, the gear you get will be getting better as your character levels up also. And and then, and then uh, because the gear is essentially randomly rolled, uh, somebody else has a chance to get the same gear you got, but with different stats in it. And they might be better for them than they were for you. And it'll depend on how you want to use the character. Right, sure. Cool. Um, and on top of just uh, gear itself, every character has these two ability slots. So inside the ability slots can be things that could do something like give you a new special move, or they could replace an existing special move with a new special move. So let's say I'm a Batman player who's super into zoning. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that I could even greatly improve my zoning skills with this? Yeah, so with Batman, for example, there's a couple of these where he's got an ear to ear batarang, which will replace your um, your ear um, like um, scatter, scatter shot, bombs. The scatter bombs. You'll, you'll lose access to the scatter bomb special move, but then that adds a ear to ear batarang special move. And then, and then there's also a downward version. So if you want to use up both your slots on these two moves, you can sort of set yourself up as a batarang tossing madman. Right? Yeah, so you could stay back zone in the air zone and just use all the right. wonderful weapons that Batman has. Now, it should be noted, though, that there are two slots, mm -hmm. but there are certain moves that will take up both slots. Yeah, there are gonna be, there are gonna be some, some gear moves will, uh, depending on uh, how strong they end up being, will take up both your slots, and some of them will take away some of your other special moves. They could even do things like um, give you a new uh, super move attack, or they could give you a new character power. Um, these will be very, very different and very diverse for all the characters in the game. Right. So there's not just one formula that all the characters follow. No. Awesome. So let's. Uh, you want to you go into Batman a little bit? Yeah. Cool. Let's uh, let's go. Uh, let's do that. And as you you'll see too, when we show it in a second, there are five different loadouts, as we talked about earlier with mm -hmm. N. So you can have this is my zoning Batman. This is my this Batman. This is my cool all the best gear Batman. Yeah. You can lay it out based on the gameplay if you want, or you can just have different looking Batman if that's what you want right. to do. So let's do Batman. Let's do Batman v Batman. Batman v Batman. And we'll, Hit your, uh, hit your square there and choose a different loadout from each other, I guess, yeah? Sure, I'll go, what do you want? What do you want? Um, I'll pick loadout two. I want three. Batman. Yeah. Cool. I like that Batman. So we've created some kind of nifty looking Batmans here. Now this is just scratching the surface of what we can do with the characters. Yep. Obviously we've put some shaders into use here. Mm -hmm. um, there's only a couple available that we're using right now. During the streams, we do hope to show off a lot of the really cool shaders. When you start putting shaders on, that's when you can really start kind of tweaking the knobs on how your character looks. So we've got air to air bat veteran there. Um, well, I just did mine, which was my. I had the air to air oh, and the downward. Right. But I'd also like to point out, 
Look at Batman's stance. I was going to say the same Look thing. at this. Yeah. He's it, been training. He's, he's been, been training. training. He's Absolutely. Been training. So Batman now is, is has a little bit of a new stance. And as we talked about, too, he has a new a new super move and some new additions to some of the strings, too. And, and you've, of course, changed some of his yeah. some, some frame Yeah, yeah exact frames aren't the same, too. So you'll, you're going to need to learn sort of how to play the character. You're going to be familiar with like some of the general moves that he has, but there are little nuances here and there to change. So, like, right. matchups will be different. Yeah, we talked about this last night. Like, people who play Batman, you'll be able to walk in and you'll be able to play Batman, but there are a lot of changes that will kind of, like you said, nuances that will make you play the character a little bit differently than you may have. And you also notice that Batman throws different. He also has a new carry as well. Mm -hmm. And you can change the carry out in the yeah, so like my guy has the uh, advanced parry equipped, so that'll actually let him meter burn his parry, which does more damage. And if you happen to have bats equipped, you can send him on afterwards and continue the combo. Right. So there'll be there'll be different ways where if you want to play a more defensive Batman, you can go with that as your character ability. Fair enough. I love the, the yellow tongues. Oh, I and his howl is super awesome. Like he just looks great. Like you can see that he is a completely different Batman than I am. And what I'm excited about too, just for you know my job, I get a lot of tweets from people. I'm very excited to start seeing uh, the people that they create. Like I want to see the different color ideas you have, and like because people are gonna have some crazy stuff. Every time you go online, you're gonna see different Batman. Different of Batman. Batman, or Batman or Batman? Batman. Batman. Okay. I'm not sure either. So that's gonna be really exciting for us. I think for you guys too. Um, let's, let's do player select and do... I'm going to jump over to practice mode and make it a little easier to switch. Oh, was that a match-match? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. We're going to do practice mode. Sounds All right. good. Alright. Batman. Double Batman. Should we do the different so ones? So we do, we do a bait and bat, and you can use... Bat Strike? Batman. Fighters approaching Metropolis. So on the right side, we kind of created a... Kind of a, cl a take on the regular Batman. On the other side, we have those new, so that new, like, glowing blue eye yeah. goggles thing, which are really cool. Kind of neon Batman. Yeah, so he's got Bat Strike equipped, which will actually replace your character power. You gotta let me in. Oh, I give me controls here, yet. Yeah. I know how much you hate to do that, but... Sorry, pal. <laughs> old, old, old um, screen, yeah. Old screen, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, so go back. I think it's go back one. Go to AI options, and then put it to human. There, there we go. There we are. You turn off these buttons here. And, um, yeah. Booyah. So you were saying that his character power... Yeah, so his character power actually gets replaced with, instead of the bats going around Batman, they actually go on the opponent, and then they'll blow up within, within a few seconds. So that leaves you to a lot of different setups. You can injure combos, sit putting bats in the opponent. The opponent's sort of forced to block that. So that's more of like, if you're doing like a setup like Rushdown style Batman, you want to go with that. But that one does take up two of your character ability slots, so you have to give up other stuff to be able right. to put that on. And then, uh, what, what all do we have with this Batman? Uh, I believe this one has the evading bat, so if you knock me down... No, nope, that's just gonna bounce you back out. Well... Well, oh! <laughs> Punching bag. Well... Nope. Oh, there's more interactive with the screen. Hold on, I'm gonna just throw this guy. Throw him out of the way. Throw the B the B. Get him out of the way. Okay, knock me down, we'll sweep. Okay, sorry, I was just getting into it. There it is. Oh, so he has you as a dead. That gives you a unique, a unique wake up attack with that. So it'll be some like the things like that where you can actually get a, a new special move, but it's only used in a certain way. Like this right. one gives you a unique wake up. Well, that's awesome. Um, and then this one also has um, oh. a similar battering toss to the Injustice One style, where if you notice the uh, the new Injustice Two Batman, he throws his batarangs with a little bit of a back step, mm -hmm. and it's a single batarang, but it recovers faster. So it's more sure. suitable for zoning. But people with uh, like a, a advancing armored move might be able to get through that. But if you pick uh, the other Batarang, where I'm throwing two Batarangs, that's going to blow up some of those armor setups. Sure. Awesome. And can you meter burn those things? or? Uh, those you cannot, but the ones you have can. So, you, so there's like a little bit of a pro and con, depending on which one you Okay. Pick. Cool. Is there uh, anything else that we kind of want to just run down on with Batman? Um, we could probably go over some general stuff, like the ear escapes. So something like uh, if I do a back three combo and then go to juggle you, uh, the, the opponent actually has the ability to like hit up and meter while they're coming back, and they'll actually escape out of it and sort of like gets out of my combo. But if I know that the guy's going to try to do that, I can see he's going to do it and then and 
do something and get them and like blow them up for it. And that does take a substantial bit of meter. It takes two bars of meter and, and uh, you can go upward or backward. If you go up, it uh, lofts you up a little higher, but then there's less recovery when you land. If you go backward, there's actually a decent amount of recovery frames and landing on the ground. So you have to choose if you're gonna try to advance up or down. And you sort of have to know your opponent's tendencies for what combos you're going to try to do in kind of settings. I've had some, I have a, I play in the QA lab with some of the guys, I've been trying some of the escapes, and it becomes a mind game between your, you and your opponent of which one you're going to do up or back, because yeah. they can like continue a string and you're catching you, or, or back off. It, it, there's a lot of really cool mind games with it, so I'm excited about that. I enjoy them. Whoop! Oh, yeah, so that come. was actually a counter, so that was actually a punish. Yeah. So there'll, there'll be there'll be a lot of ways where you're going to sort of adjust your combos depending on the meter and whether or not your opponent's actually going to have like the gall to do it. Right. Cool. Let's move on. Wanna, what do we have more? next, Tyler? You want to do more Batman? You want to go? Oh, let's jump on Atrocitus. Let's do some Atrocitus. Can I, can I Absolutely. Cool. Uh, I'll ask the hard-hitting questions. Please do. What uh, color is Atrocitus? We can't, well, you know, in Injustice 2, it can be a lot of colors, probably. Oh, good so, answer! All uh, right. So let's pick me, uh, give me, give me a good one. They're all good. No, I like that one. I like the horns. So, this is more of the encounter we did at the past with Atrocitus. Atrocitus is a, uh, he's a big, he's a big character. Yeah. Big hitbox character, but he is not, like, he's not a grappler. He plays in a totally different way. Yeah, he you can sort of play like the brute like rushdown style, but he's but he can more use his lantern abilities as more of like more like a more like a special move like setup type character. Right, can you give me power? Yep. And then um and then uh his game plan sort of changes completely once he has Dexter fighting right. with him also. We do a little No. Oh, Ty's gotta check his controls. Well, I don't wanna <laughs> complain later when I've, <laughs> when I've been lying the whole time. So yeah, so Atrocitus has a lot of really cool I consider him like uh, sort of a footsie character in the way. Like he has a lot of moves where you kind of control the mid range mm -hmm. a lot. Um, for, uh, what would you say? You see, you see him as a, as a footsie type character as well. Um, he's got a lot of range. Um, yeah. He generally has like slightly slower startup than other characters. Um, he's got the really dangerous like puddle move that can hit from anywhere on screen. So opponents sort of have to look out for that. But that it's a low too. Yeah, and it's yeah. but it's really it's negative on block. Yeah, it's really right. negative on miss. So it's sort of. You, if, you, if I'm you can, here, I'm done. Yeah. If I do it here, I'm done. Yeah, if you do it almost anywhere where they jump over it, you'll be done also. It's right. a it's a matter of, uh, it's safer to do it when deck starts out, and it's sort of uh, just uh, the opponent, like, guessing when you're going to do it. Right. I use it to, like, you know, check people when they're trying to come in on me, mm -hmm. but there are some characters from full screen who can punish it, not, like, full combo, but can, yeah. you know, can get some good damage off of it. Yeah, and generally he won't really want people on top of it. Right. Yeah, well, that blood NATO ruins my day every time. It's low. You don't expect it, right? Get angry. I've yet to see Dexter. Guys. Yeah, we're, I gotta, I, I'm gonna try for the first time on stream. Oh boy. This is bad. I'm not gonna hit it anymore. I got a combo with Dexter. Can we come to the middle of the screen with me? There, we just push the button, I guess. Here we go. Oh, I'm, even, I'm better on this side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, so so with uh, the ability that you put on, instead of getting the ranged projectile, it actually gives Dexter a little vomit move. And that move is uh, slightly safer on block than the projectile. It'll give you some sort of different traps you can use. Right. And then you also, you also have the uh, towards down uh, to, um, yeah, so, it's, he, so he gets a, uh, like a low vomit. It actually does a little bit of dot damage in the ground. Oh, look at that. And the opponent steps over it. Um, That's and awesome. They're all speed. And then, like my character, for example, he has the blood pillar, which is sort of, you can use it as an anti air and sort of like a deal with me. Right. And it's got a meter burn that'll uh, allow you to juggle afterwards. Right. So, okay, I want to, it's reset. I'm going to try it one more time. No, oh, okay. I'm going to try it one more time. I got Are you it. sure you can do it? I think I can. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh, to the transition. Peace! <laughs> Only took me like three tries. Well, that's good. Nailed it. Yeah. So he has some really cool foot maneuvers. He's very, uh, he's got some range to him. It's a lot of fun to play. I've really enjoyed playing it, especially the Dexter really brings in a different type of gameplay form as well. Because yep. um, Dexter in the regular form can throw a projectile. A uh, shield. He can use a shield. Mm. He can actually claw you. Ah! So yes. when Dexter's out, you're in trouble. Like, you have to really be safe when you Yeah, and with the one I have, yeah, he actually has a meter burn, a Dexter charge, which at any point I can just spin it out, spin a bar meter, send Dexter as like a rushing attack. That's that, one fast cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Cool. And then you guys got a couple more yep. versions? Awesome. A couple more versions of, of Atrocitus. Now, can you dress Dexter? 
Yes. Can you put him in like holiday yeah. clothes? He, every character has a uh, every character has a uh, accessory slot for his gear, uh -huh. and uh, uh, Trasa's accessory slot is Dexstar. Okay. So you'll have many different different pieces of gear for Dexstar, and it'll actually give you uh, some other things on top of your stats where they might modify some stuff Dexstar does, like actually change some of just his damage percentage. Awesome. Cool. Atrocitus. Double Atrocitus. Size and power? And oh, yeah, this one's. Spiders approaching the one that you're, you've set up here is it takes two. It takes two slots. Right, it's, it's the blood push. It seems to uh, entice anger out of people. Oh, yeah, no, not I'm sure why, but um, it seems to. It's supposed to be called salt push instead of blood push, but right. we're going with blood push for now. So you, let's say you're playing against somebody who likes to push a lot of buttons and run in at you. What you do in that situation is you do blood push. Yeah. Yeah. And then Derek gets mad. I was so mad. I was like, what the heck is this? Give him the power. Yeah, I would, yeah, that that blood push. It's awesome. Here we go. You have blood push or do I? I have blood push. You have, I uh, have power. You have sniper power. So when he does this move and uh, you get close to your opponent, we actually see that uh, it'll be draining a little bit of meter. But yeah, there. since we have all full meters. Right. Oh, yeah. so, when, so when you have this one equipped, it actually drains meter from your opponent if, if they're near you. Right. So you can do some sort of setups, and you can do setups to win her in the last round, try to uh, take away their class advantage, and but you'll have to do that move to activate it, so you'll need to find a setup for that. And that takes place of the other Siphon Power, which doesn't actually take, it takes your life. life. Yeah, that one will actually take life, and uh, that one has a meter burden. So, so there's a little bit of a, a pro and con with it, but um, it'll have, if you choose to use it, it'll have advantage for it. Now, will some of these... That's Blood Push. Yeah. Okay. And then there's also this. There's the meter burn blood push, which is a little well, pushes uh, a little bit harder. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I love that. So, yeah. There's that. Um, and people will be able to, to you can uh, you'll you'll be able to uh, get some of these abilities as you're uh, leveling up as a reward. But then there'll also be ones that can just randomly drop or randomly uh, uh, be be gotten through uh, different gameplay means. So um, uh, with these, we're excited to see what people are going to be doing with on the beta and uh, going out of back and forth. So all that stuff will also be available in the beta. Yeah. That is awesome. So you'll get random drops of abilities and gear. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And, and, and like I was mentioned before, there'll be there'll be a competitive mode and a tournament mode for people who just want to play with just like a base even level. And, and then uh, these moves won't be activated for competitive mode and tournament mode. And the same thing with your gear won't, uh, its stats won't affect it. But in general, we want people just to just have fun, create the character, and uh, essentially make the character play they want to play and be able to just come up with different setups and different like combinations of stats and abilities that will let you uh, have a huge advantage over your opponent. Cool. Right. There's like really two things you can, you can you can play the regular no gear version, but you can also at the same time be creating the best character you can and be running up that ladder yeah. too. So you can definitely be playing two different yeah. types of the game. And on top of it, they all have very different uh, visual looks, and uh, you'll essentially be making the character look the way you want them to look. Right. Oh, yeah. it, I'm, I'm not kidding when I say like the. the the amount of stuff we're showing you right now with the way the characters look is just a small part of it. Yes. I, I've seen some shaders and heard of some shaders that are amazing yeah. that you are going to be blown away by. I love a uh, lot of the Harley shaders. There's like, some stuff uh, out there that is just really, really intense, and I can't wait. And, you know, we'll try to get some shaders shown on streams. But a shader show? A, sh a shader hey, showcase. Maybe not a full show. Shader showcase. Shader showcase. Might be something we do on stream. What do you think about shader showcase? Um, okay. You're, yeah. You're a little indifferent yeah. to that. A little bit different, but um, he's loving uh, it on the inside. I think uh, people are going to be very excited, which is the, the 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 fact you can make the character look the way you want him to look. You can make him play sort of the way you want him to play, and you'll be going to be rewarded for putting time in and actually putting in game time with the uh, gear and abilities and stuff. Right. Are you cosplaying right now with your Deadshot hat? Um, no, but it's just a little reminder that the Return of Zoning is coming. <laughs> Return of Zoning. Um, I love it. Excellent. So, <laughs> as we said earlier, the beta. Code's going out at the end of this stream. At the end of the stream. So, so we should extend this stream as long as possible. I think people probably want to play. Uh, but we do have one more thing I want to talk about. Okay. Um, and we're almost done, actually. We have kind of a shorter stream today. Keep in mind, we are going to keep doing streams. We're yes. streams all the time. I wouldn't say next week, but I would maybe the week after. We'll be Ooh, looking for one. Maybe yeah. we'll see. And then as we start ramping up towards the launch, we'll be having a lot of streams. And a lot of really cool surprises coming your way that you don't know about yet, and I'm very excited to show off. Yeah. Um, but that's in the future. This was just sort of our base. Hey, we're back. Yes! The beta is coming. Ed Boone was here. We had a really great show so far, but there's something I want to talk about. Oh. So, 
everyone has mentioned, we always we get a lot about the belt battles mm -hmm. and how fun they were and how Derek won most of them. Yeah, absolutely. I'm okay with that. I'm okay absolutely. With that. I had a fun time playing them, but I thought about it and I was like, you know, a belt is not gonna work for this. We don't have to adjust this belt. It's not really like in the lore. No. No. So I messaged with the people from DC and said, hey. Do you have like a mini like Green Lantern that we can find over? That's mm -hmm. a, an object of power, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Uh, well, DC, Derek, could you? DC obliged a little bigger than I expected. I'm pretty happy about it. So this is what we're fighting for now. This is the new belt. The Lantern Battles will be calling. Oh now. yeah, and it stays on my desk. I mean, whoever wins desk, right? Right. Or we'll just keep it in the room for the next. Yeah, week. probably. Uh, but this is what we'll be fighting over: the Lantern. And here's the other deal. Huh. Um, I thought, and a lot of people in the stream did as well, that we kind of, during our belt battles, always kind of played the same characters, right? Yep. And maybe that got a little boring. I am going to figure out a way for the future for mm -hmm. us to have to challenge ourselves to learn new characters. Maybe go into QA and get trained, things like that. A little training. Um, Will so there be a training montage? There may be. Ooh. If you have any ideas at home, please tweet us about how we can pick the characters we're going to play. Because, you know, sometimes we'll play our mains. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we got to branch out. Oh, what think, if we um, tweet out, like, three options, yep. and then whatever those people select, we have to play one of those. That's things. a good idea. Uh, I'll, a little I'll tweet bonus, that to you. Um, every once in a while, somebody might come in and give you specific gear for you to play with. Ooh, mm -hmm. that would be cool, too. Excellent. So we'll uh, also so, so tweet us. If you guys have any ideas of how you want us to fight for the belt, let us know. Today, we weren't going to have a belt battle. Oh. We weren't going to. We weren't. But I say we do. Yes! Okay. I'm excited. You I'm going to need a controller. Bet. Let's do this. Whew. And I guess uh, since we showed off Batman Atrocitus, we should do that? I'm fine with that. Okay. Now, here's the other deal. No, there's a... Oops. You picked Batman, huh? Let's switch, but we're on the wrong side. Okay, okay. Let's just twist it up as much as okay. possible. Okay, yep, absolutely. All right, so, I picked Batman. You picked Batman again. So let's, let's do... Batman. You want to do base? Just do base? Or do we do gear? Ooh. I say we do gear. I say we do gear too. All right. Um, I'm going to do... I think I might do... I really love this Batman. This Batman is awesome. Thank you. You did that? I didn't. No, I did nothing. I put the pieces Batman. on. Well, I mean, you dressed it. Yes. You did. I did literally nothing with the character. Oh, yeah. You, you, so I'm picking uh, Blood Push. I have no clue which one this loadout has, but I'm going to figure it out. Yep. Yep. Because I probably should have looked. Well, here we go. Roll the dice. Is your general Batman strategy just consist of doing back No, no jump twos. Jump twos. Jump twos. Okay, okay. Gotcha. So, here we go. Uh, first lantern battle. Mm. Yes! Very excited. I'm, yeah, yeah. Can I pause real quick? Yeah. I want to say before I forget. Um, you guys, the fans of the game of Netherrealm, have been so cool to all of us. Mm -hmm. and everybody in the studio, with all the tweets you've sent us, like... Want the show to come back and want yeah. to see all the work that everyone in this studio has been doing. Mm -hmm. and it's, it makes me, I'm really happy to be doing these again. Like, it's one of my favorite things to do. I'm sure it's one of yours. I love it. Uh, I know I drop a lot of combos and suck at the game sometimes, but I'll tell you what, doing these is a highlight of my week every single week. Yep. So, thank you all for coming to join us, and we're going to keep giving you the best stuff we can. Yeah, absolutely. Except for combos, I'm going to give you the worst. And I might win a lot. Here we go, it's already off to a... No. Oh! Oh! oh no. How about that? No. Oh, come on, man. You want to push buttons? No, no, no I don't. Oh, okay. Jump two, don't fail me now. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. You gotta stop doing that. This is one of those times where I would say I miss Steve and his and stellar commentary. commentary. Maybe we can just have him stand outside the door. You're jump twoing a lot, so I, I, I'm going to blow that up a little bit. A little bit. No, no! Oh. Come on. Oh. Dex star. Was, it, was that a shield into the lift? Yes, it was a shield okay. into the lift. Okay. You know I've been practicing this character. Yes, I do. Alright. Wave three. Are you gonna go into punch? Oh, flying punch walk. Air punch walk. Okay. Whenever you're done with that. You, you had a good run. I had a good run there. I had a good run there. Mm -hmm. right, here we go. No. My full screen grapple apparently did not fool you at all. <laughs> I told Steve Rabbit that I was going to get better oh. anti airs this year. Yeah. For this game, and I think I'm still working on that. It's that low blood NATO is just eating me. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Do, 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 do. 
Oh! Oh no! Blood NATO. Did you blood, just fall you, right beside you? just you? double blood NATO. Not cool. Nope. You gonna do it again? Nope. Yeah, you are. Your Tyler, I do the same move a lot. But down. now I'm doing strength into it. You're professional. You got good. There you go. No. No blood push. Green bats. You'd be a perfect Man. Red I only that. come in black. Look at his eyes. They're They're awesome. So good. Push our button. Ha <laughs> It's fine. Oh no. I'm gonna grab- I'm gonna try and do parries for the rest of the time. Oh, okay. Oh! oh, oh, oh. One for you. One, one for you. One. Paulo, mm -hmm. as a person who watches a lot of streams and a lot of fighting games, what am I doing wrong here? Um... I think it would just be uh, optimizing your damage. Would probably go a long way. I'm gonna uh, pick a different outfit. Okay. I wanna, I mean, and I think okay. there needs to be more mental games, like uh, uh, try standing far away and like ducking up and down really fast. Yeah. See if that makes Derek go, <laughs> go insane. Okay. Um, and that's funny. So that's good. Uh, besides that, I got nothing else to help you. Uh, I'm gonna do the horns one. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go pure evil on this one. Ooh. Yeah, um, some of it could be uh, once you have Dexar out, then go nuts. Yeah. I'm, you know, here's the deal. You know when you learn a new character, especially in our game in Injustice 2, sometimes like the traits the last thing you really start optimizing. Mm -hmm. I'm true. not quite ready with Dexter yet. And I understand that. But here we go. I'm blocking. I thought I was. No. Dexter. You parry. Well, it's because you just throw moves out. Yeah, because I'm trying to do pressure. I'm in trouble here. Under pressure. I'm like a flawless here. No, your cat got me a little bit. I don't know what to do in the corner. Um, well, you can wake up um, the, uh, with the uh, punch block move. Ah! Alright. Now who's in the corner? It's oh! Pretty good bait. No! Oh, okay, I guess I'll stop that. <laughs> Keep doing that. Keep doing that all day. Stop it. You can't parry that. Yes, I can! Is, oh! oh. Parryable. <sighs> right. Fall out with the butcher. It's a big red bull. Yeah, it is. Money. Oh, hey. Throwing, throwing coins at me. That's right. I'm rich. I do it wrong. Alright, now it's time. Okay. I, I really just want to pair this for the rest of the match, but I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> it seems like a bad strategy. Yeah, but it would be really awesome if I nailed it. Yeah, you said crud. yeah I said crud. We haven't got. It's a PG 13 game. There's not, you know, we got to do a change. Right. I can say worse than anything. But there could be children watching. I hope so. I hope we've, we've branched out to oh, the more child based Your rage people. Is like, okay, you know, it's team, man. Nope. I'm not doing anything either. Oh, shut the bag. Oh no. Just throw on out a wave threes. You're done. That's fun. That is fun. What is that face? Look at that face. It is such um, I think that's like a salty face. <laughs> that is such a salty face. Yeah. That's sort of annoying, right? Right? Oh yeah, that's, gotta, um, that's the worst. We got eight seconds left. I think she yep. should walk back and sort of sit around. No! Oh yes. No! No. No, if I lose this, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be salty. I had to go for back three, you know. <laughs> Alright, you got the first lantern. That's great. That's great. Congratulations. Gosh. 
Oh. Can I fit around my neck? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. It weighs like nine pounds. Yeah. Uh, so Derek won because I got uh, parried. Count them. Watch the watch the restream and count how many times that happened. That, that was, was awesome. I started like doing other stuff. Yeah. But, like just kind of got caught. Yeah. So, anyway, everybody. So that was the first stream. Paulo, thank you so yeah. much. I want to thank Ed Boone for being here. Thank earlier. you, Ed. Hope you guys get a beta code soon, and they're coming out in waves, so that you'll get one when you do. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, Jen, of course, thank you so much for being here. Everybody, uh, it's been a great time. We'll see you again really soon. Keep keep an eye on our Twitter, our Facebook, and we'll tell you about the next Watchtower. Are you going to be on the beta night? Should be. Me too. Maybe we'll see you there. Maybe we'll see you there. Thank you all very much. Goodbye. Cool. Thanks for watching.